What's going on everyone, Ash here, and I'm coming with another video for Disneyland Resort where I'm gonna go through the Disneyland Hotel. So hotel that I'm staying out during my stay uh, on my visit to Disneyland Resort, but also there's a lot of history behind this hotel, so I thought I'll just go through uh, what it has to offer in uh, amenities, uh, what the rooms look like, and then after that, we're gonna go through downtown Disney as well to see what it's like, so let's go. Right off the bat, you are welcomed by this wonderful Disney 100 Years of Wonder carpet. Uh, you got bell service and concierge when you come in as well. For the 100 years, they've added this great Backdrop. I'm trying to think of what it is. <laughs> backdrop, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's a backdrop. Um, and it's, you know, again, highlighting the history of the hundred years of this wonderful company. Starting with the Alice comedies from Walt Disney. That's just great. You've also got a uh, concierge um, where I checked in, which is uh, grateful. They're always really, really helpful. You've got pools and slides that are outside. You've got a small sundries store where it has things like sundries. <laughs> Doritos. Ooh, Fruit Loops, Frosted Freaks. Actually, I shouldn't have come in here. <laughs> really tempta temptation here. But you know, it's got the other things as well, like, you know, Advil and whatnot. And if you're ill or things that you may have forgotten at home. It's got it all here for you. A lot of photos here. Ted Kennedy. Dustin Hoffman. President Dwight Eisenhower. Satchmo. I just want to look at all of these photos. There you are, you have quite notable people here visiting Disneyland Resort. I don't know if they've always had that, but it's quite fitting for the 100 year celebration. And here you've got the store, Fantasia shop. You know, you get bits and bobs that you can get in other stores across the parks. Like spirit jerseys and magic bands and whatnot. I suppose it's a Star Wars section. Shoulder plush, which I've seen a lot of people have. So I think it must be, it must be magnetic. And people put it on their shoulder and just walk with it. It's a clever concept. Hi. This is amazing. You see here, look at that, that's beautiful. Is this a... I don't know what this is. But it just looks beautiful. Tiki shirts. Can I say that? Is it is it tiki shirts? Is that? But there's definitely a Polynesian theme because you got here Moana. <coughs> a whole section. 
which tie, ties in with the Trader Sam's theme here. And that is it for that section of the hotel. Now there are three uh, sections of the hotel, soon to be four. Uh, that was the Fantasy Tower. We're gonna go into Adventure Tower uh, next. But before we do, just thought I will give you a little sneak peek into Goofy's kitchen. So Goofy's kitchen, right here. Where you can go in there, you can eat, they do breakfast, lunch and dinner, and it's character dining. So you go there and uh, you, of course, pay for the meal, and then you have Goofy and uh, other characters chipping down and whatnot come and visit. Uh, prices vary depending if you're having breakfast or lunch. I've heard it's great, but uh, not been yet. You also have a slide here, a pool. That's a part of the resort and a slide. Then you have Tangoroa, Tangoroa Terrace. Is that it? Anyway, this is where you can get breakfast, lunch and dinner here as well. And it's uh, like Hawaiian Polynesian themed. Uh, you can even get a Dole Whip here, believe it or not. Um, I've had some of the food here for dinner and it is really, really nice. Quite affordable as well uh, and quite filling. Right. Now we go to Adventure Tower. Coming up. So the second tower I'm going to show you here at Disneyland Hotel. And all of these little statues from the Jungle Cruise. <laughs> This is great, of course. Maps. And great adventure themed pictures on the walls. All right. Now, it's to say, like, the towers are not overtly uh, themed, so it has very subtle differences in each one. So, for fantasy, you saw that it was, uh, you know, very keeping it to his roots and showing elements of uh, fantasy for Adventure Tower. You saw the Jungle Cruise and the Tiki and all of that stuff. Uh, for Frontier Tower, very similar again with hints of frontier land, but again, not too overt, where you're like stuck in the land. It's still very uh, much of a hotel theme. Now, right here, they're doing the DVC, the DVC building. So that's gonna be the fourth building that we're not gonna see because they're doing it up. But as you can see from the sign, it's gonna look pretty cool. They're gonna have balconies and everything on here, which uh, is <laughs> gonna be something spectacular. Here's the Frontier Tower that we're going into and the one that I'm currently staying in on this day. Which is pretty cool, right? Again, I'm not overtly Frontierland, but it's you know it's got like little nods to show the land that it's representing, as well as the music. Right here, 
is this little scale set of frontier land right here in the lobby. I think that's just so awesome. You got Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, amazing. All right, so that's what the lobbies of each tower looks like in a Disneyland hotel. Now let's go and see what the room looks like. And here we go in. Here we go in to the room. And it's quite dark here because uh, it is getting, starting to get late. So let me put on the lights to see, but this is what the room looks like. You've got a nice fireworks carpet, the two twin beds. Walt there under his castle. And every room has that photo of Walt under the castle, which I think is a nice touch. In terms of our view, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's okay. It's not the greatest, we have that nice spring there um, which is cool, a lot of foliage and then we can see Fantasy and Adventure Tower there with the DVC Tower on the left hand side uh, it's quite spacious, the rooms are very very spacious and I'm here with my family and uh, yeah, we've got, we got plenty of space. Here we've got the bathrooms, which quite reasonable, standard. Nothing to cry home about, but you know, it does the job. Of course, all of our electrics are here to fuel <laughs> all of our recording here. Now here is my favorite part, which I'm sure you've seen many times, but it's my first time in the resort, so I'm forcing you to see it as again. You press this button. And look at that. That's amazing. And there we are. All right, coming out of here, getting out of here. <laughs> And we're going to Downtown Disney. So I'll show you what Downtown Disney is like. Uh, I found this neat little alleyway. Is it an alleyway? Well, it's a shortcut anyway. And it helps going down to uh, Downtown Disney much quicker than walking around the building. Yeah, look at this. Wonderful backdrop here. It is very different to uh, the Disney Village. <laughs> but you know, Disney Village is gonna get a new makeover, so 
Let's see how that turns out. Waiting post right here. Can never be live entertainment, right? Never. Great stuff from Disney. There's a monorail entrance. So, and I believe it goes to Tomorrowland. I have yet to go on it, but I will be eventually before my visit is over. There's a Lego store here. And as we get further, above, you've got the restaurants to eat. So we head, we've got the Jazz Kitchen Express, which is getting a bit of a makeover, as well as Tortilla Joe's. That's not getting a makeover, but you've got it on the opposite side. Splitsville, which I actually don't know what that is. I'm not being in there. Is it bowling? Is it, is it supposed to be bowling or? I don't know. Black Tap, which is a burger, craft burger joint. Uh, we had it on our first night. We wasn't really too overly impressed, but people seem to enjoy it. I think it's because of <laughs> what, we, what we spent versus what we got. We were like, eh. Then you got some retail stalls here, including Pele Soccer. Uh, I don't know why they got a football store here. Do you know what I mean? Like, you coming back and say, oh, where did you go to? Oh, I went to Disney, Disneyland, and I brought back this, you know, Real Madrid shirt. I don't get it, but there we are. Wetzels, pretzels. You know, there's a few, few good stores. Now, it's not on the level of Disney Springs in Florida, right? But it's not as bad as uh, the Disney Village, so, you know. Quite a few Italian restaurants as well. as well as makeup and jewelry stores. And who can forget Starbucks? Not a trip to Disneyland without Starbucks. And this is where a lot of the apparel and toys are right ahead of me in the world of Disney. So if you don't have what you're looking for in the parks, it may be a good chance that it's in the world of Disney. Got Earl of Sandwich as well. So you got the tavern, restaurant and bar. If you want to do more of a sit-down thing, but if you just want to grab your sandwich and go, then Earl of Sandwich is here. And it just reopened after a furbisher, actually, so... There we are. And that's it in regards to the hotel, what that looks like, what the room looks like, and downtown Disney. Please check out my other videos for the Disneyland Resort, and I will see you on the next one.